hey so welcome back to my youtube channels and today we will be learning about a very new project which is called web3 auth so a few days back i just going through it and i realized this is one of the most and very very interesting project which enables your users to log in into your decentralized application using social media handles such as facebook google discord twitter and all so in this video we will learn how to implement this web3 auth into our application with a very quick demo so first uh, let me show you how it works so i've implemented here created a very small project so this is a login button and i will display some uh, parameters over here address chain id balance and users info so let me click to the login button once button is clicked we can see the pop-up for the social login I will choose Google and the email ID and done. So I have connected with this decentralized application using my social media account which is Google and if I click on the get user info I can see all the details. So this is the email address to which I have connected. My name is Tahir Ahmed and everything is here. So if I go to the chain ID, I can see 8001, which shows Polygon testnet. And if I click on the get accounts, I can see my wallet address. If I click on the get balances, it gives my balances. So uh, let me copy this and let me show you over the Polygon scan. All right. So here yeah, you can see exact balance exact balance is here so this is this is very good uh, that any user can actually log in with their social account without following the intermediate steps of the blockchain of onboarding so this is great so uh, let me show you the code like how this can be implemented so so this is the code and this is the basic react.js application and this is app.js file in this app.js file, uh, so uh, what is required here is uh, this is use effect function where uh, web3 auth is initialized like this way. Here we have to choose a chain ID to which we wanted to connect the user and the RPC uh, to which we have to connect. And once this instance is set, we have to init the model. So this is basically in instantiating the web3 auth object and once I click on the login button, then this uh, login uh, function executes. And what it does is, is basically web3 auth dot connect. So once I click over here, my uh, social media account connected to the decentralized application. And this is the logout function you can see here. So once I log out, we have to just write it web3 auth dot logout. And this is get user info, this is get chain ID function, this is get account function, this is get balances function. And this is the code. And I have created uh, this file, RPC file, which is a class where all the functions are written to communicate with the blockchain. So once I go to the RPC file, you can see I'm setting the provider. And to get the chain ID, I am just using that provider returned by the web3 auth object and using that with web3.js library. So very simple two files to integrate this first into app.js. So these are the basic configuration, basic functions, and those functions are related and interacting with this web3 RPC class where all basic functions are defined. We can also send this transaction to the blockchain, right transaction. Let me show you how. So uh, once I click, you can uh, let me let me open my console. So this is console. And once I hit approve transaction, you can see it will return transaction hash. You can see this transaction hash, what it is doing. So transaction is included into block number. All right. Let's wait for a few more seconds. Yeah, done. So transaction is successful. And uh, yeah, this is the gas limit and this is the gas used by the transaction. And if, if I go to, uh, to this address, we can see 
26 seconds ago the approved transaction works and these are the all the details of the transaction that we use so means using this web3 auth uh, function we can basically read the data from uh, blockchain we can write data to the blockchain we can do all the things that we can do with web3.js ethers.js same we can do with this web3 auth object one thing which i feel a bit of concern is it returns your private keys so if i hit the git private key function so this is the private key of my wallet and if i import this into metamask we can exactly use like other private keys we can do transaction we can do everything so this is might a bit of concern and second thing is we can also log out uh, of our wallet by clicking over the logout button so once i click logout my session is uh, vanishes so this is very good so if you really wanted to implement social login into your decentralized application and if you want to remove friction from onboarding of new users you can implement this if you want me to create this video in a very uh, descriptive way then you can write it down into the comment section i will really upload it and thank you for this time and watching you can hit the like button and subscribe my channel for further videos thank you